<clears throat> Hello, my friends. Today is July 24, 2018. Uh, let's just say another day in paradise. I was gonna say uh, what we will learn in this video, tra la la la, but then I came to the next conclusion, and the next one was like, you will repeat after us, tra la 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 la, but it's not like this and it's not like that. Let's just call this another day in a paradise. Um, in this video, what I'll do is I'll discuss stuff that is so stupid that actually, even that I was taught they would do this stuff like this. Um, sometimes it's it's maybe good to be naive, but I'm just like totally counter naive person. I, I am like. Um, hmm. quite an interesting person um, according to my calculations according to my assessment of the situation MK Ultra situation well I just say I didn't have any intention to come really back to Slovenia if it wasn't for George W bullshit I would have never come to Slovenia probably I would come to Slovenia as soon as the things would turn out bad for me uh, it pretty much what I would do is I would just make a circle and go back to the US um, but really because of George W Bush things did not turn out this way this man did serve Moscow to the best of its abilities Belgrade um, George W Bush said to me it doesn't matter if you call me a neo-nazi it doesn't matter if you say this or you say that about me that I work along with the Moscow this and that oh he didn't like the idea about me suggesting that weapons which you have given to the Russians are going to be used against Ukrainian people and Polish people and a lot of people are going to get screwed he didn't like that but other than that he didn't have problem with anything because the more the people talk about it because American people that's all they do it's just a blah 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 there's no action there's no action like Trump says which is how can I say there he is no action either he's just blah blah too but there's no action from American people uh, in American people really some animals are more equal than others and it's this others that just seems to be not interested to be equal they're just not seem to be interested in persevering uh, resisting and persisting and you know taking over the situation there just sim seems to be some people that can enforce the law against other people um, based on well I, I would say a lot based on social statuses but man, so far I have seen no energy invested in let's say 9-11 investigation or the stuff I am talking about here I haven't seen anything people suffer some people suggest there's a, a direct energy holocaust that's going on there's a lot of people attacked destroyed ruined like this it's true but uh, what what's coming out of all this I haven't seen any action so you know when it comes to American people uh, George W Bush alone suggested me he doesn't mind any any other stuff like this because why because the more the more uh, options he is let's just say accused of guilty of whatever you want to say because he doesn't give a damn about but as long as he manages to get away with it it's actually a really really good thing yeah it's a it's awesome thing these are words from george w bush because if he wants to join to a table where neo-nazis sit it's not a problem he's got a very good i'm not gonna say reputation but definitely if you want to call it accusations reputation yeah it's an easy thing now he can also go and join uh where russians are and he can join probably whoever whomever he have done what whatever and so on so as long as people see many different things in him uh, as long as they see whatever promotes him 
uh, that means that as long as he gets away with it with a crime he doesn't mind that it is not the only one there are other politicians like this too you see i know something about all this stuff don't i anyways uh stuff so stupid if i go back you know that 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 hurts i mean hurts like totally hurts intellect i would say let's say today you're about to see android that was modified to blue radiation all the way to 170 micro teslas and as crazy as this shit is this is exactly the telephone which i believed that didn't have any radiation issues oh it didn't have any with a wi-fi it appeared with that wi-fi but you know just as i thought that that was already so stupid i don't know what did i measure 25 30 micro teslas wi-fi two telephones and to me this is like it's like totally stupid bizarre uh, i guarantee you that every time when i take one of those phones in my hands i can hear the blood pressure just going like this within five minutes it's just like you would release like a river like it would be raining 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 and then you can you can just see how the stream is growing like literally in that sense i would never i would never expect that 3g signal basically the telephone the data um the data transfer uh connection you know through the through the telephone signal would actually produce on that telephone one no less than 170 micro teslas which is almost equivalent to the microwave and it's probably about the same thing with other telephones look i'm so tired of this stuff like i said this is so stupid that actually it hurts okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue with radiation access points in a ground area uh there are abundant there are several as you are about to see and this was very very tricky stuff uh very tricky stuff uh a lot a lot of mk ultra brainwash kicked in the other day when i filmed this thing uh when i reminded myself the stuff they talked about and i didn't make a mistake consequently i i was so excited that i have somehow did not pay attention actually i did pay attention but the area over there is not very light is it's not very lightened uh, it's kind of dark area and somehow i clicked i changed units from micro teslas to micro gauss and it read it 500 uh, micro gauss when if you translate that into micro tesla that would be like 50 micro teslas which is still a lot but far away from 500 but don't get disappointed about it there is location here right behind this room exactly exactly there like this facing exactly this place here that little bed right there that shoots out close to 200 micro teslas and there are some other locations also here that shoot over 50 micro teslas so just don't get uh, disappointed about that uh, it's actually the first mistake i think i have ever made here despite all this mk ultra stuff i was subjected to and that's pretty commanding i would say um gesture done to make your mk ultra by vesna schwab her husband was here and they play with this stuff next to my niece's husband who installed this shit who did who modified this garbage into state of garbage uh, that can actually be even remotely controlled that's what she insisted uh, that um, as I'm gonna pass by they will be remotely uh, intensifying and decreasing uh, stuff like this with the micro cameras and stuff like that this is this was the uh, MK ultra scenario so that that stuff would really make you excited uh, once you see once you see spot and you remind yourself of MK ultra stuff uh, it can be very very tricky Meteor Weber 
also gestured that under MK Ultra he would bring me right in front of the pipes and would insist and insist and insist that it's radiation inside of the pipes if I have ever seen the pipes radiating why the pipes would be radiating and would be give me a piece of advice think about think about okay think about think about this is how motivational this criminal is you know he reminds me of Valt Juricic Valt Juricic was also an individual with this kind of diploma exactly the same type of certification diploma university diploma and this individual not too far from here just a few kilometers from here there was actually a last uh, how I say Grof in English Duke in Slovenia a female Schopel was her name uh, she had this castle and this guy was uh, mentally sick this Valt Juricic is a mentally sick dude uh, very bright for technology and stuff like that don't get me wrong very bright for whatever is uh, in his best interest like he's got a very big passion for the castles and stuff like this I think the guy is actually a president of European uh, castle something like this membership something like that society castle society something like that well this individual in my opinion who should not be ever released from the jail because what he did was actually he chopped he climbed in the room of this lady uh, somehow he got in her room he became friend with her then he got her and what he would do is he would chop her into pieces uh, almost about the same situation as the individual that was in Ljubljana Polje mental hospital uh, that horrific hospital uh, they placed him inside with a room with me I mean the guy should clearly be inside of the forensic department uh, the guy had like two over two meters was tall and had like 200 uh, how many now I think about 150 kilos and he was doing a weightlifting uh, and they placed him inside of my room and God knows what they were doing with him because he complained about injections they were injecting him with the stuff so the guy was all pissed off in the in noite if you would turn the light on he would just you know kind of a snap and God forbid that guy will snap because he could choke you like like this you would be dead that's why Zora Muja Serbian maniac psychiatrist also placed him that's why I should say Slovenian Chetniks have placed him inside of my room that was the idea they thought on how uh, you know I'm gonna get in some kind of conflict with him and stuff like this uh, but I pretty much knew what went on really I, I, I could read the guy was they were torturing him it's also a good question what happened why exactly he also chopped his mama into pieces and put her inside of the fridge yeah, I'm telling you this people this psychiatrist here in Slovenia this is this this Serbian maniacs here are, are not completely 100% they are not 100% they are lunatics you're talking about the lunatics you think that Putin is a normal person Putin is not a normal person in the Russia over there there is a guy that a couple that eat I don't know 70 90 people or something like this called known as a cannibal couple or something like that these are horror stories people but this this things are not happening just to the ordinary people this thing are grown diseases within the community thanks to the leaders like Putin, Borut Pahor and so on, okay? So it's a dangerous world, that's the only thing I can tell you. It's a dangerous world we live in, okay? But let's go back to this individual, Valt Juricic. He's got this doctoral diploma, just exactly probably the same kind of certification as my niece's husband. Very educated. Well, he chopped this lady and put her inside of the bug, inside of the buggy, Volkswagen Hrosh, 
like what is it Volkswagen 1200 or something like that uh, like the one that Adolf Hitler produced uh, you know that old Volkswagen buggy and he would just put her inside of the vinyl bag and he would drive around with the corpse for I don't know how long till the police actually got him nobody knew where she was this and that it was by coincidence they got the individual that's exactly what this niece's husband is he's educated it's okay but his moral character ethics uh, do match the specifications of Vald Juricic it's a very dangerous place I am around very dangerous people these people are extremely dangerous I don't know how more dangerous these people could be there is an assassin here two assassins trained actually people who trained other assassins on use with directed energy weapons and probably other gadgets too I'm talking about a neighbor Donna Kolenz and his son Matyash Kolenz and I have a family like this I don't know what else would fit description of danger honest to God so this is the stuff uh, and next stuff I will be talking about I'm gonna be talking about this access points uh, for which yeah uh, niece's husband claimed that and he does niece's husband does in Slovenian language he will go and he will measure the radiation in your place imagine you invite him in your place and he's gonna go he's gonna assist you he's gonna provide a service for you good service he's gonna tell you how to uh, avoid health hazards yeah he is advertising this on the internet on how good he is at that stuff um, gestured me what uh, do you see this do you do you do, why would this be radiating now you know that wires uh, do have uh, electromagnetic radiation now why, why would this be uh, why would this thing be radiating and so on and so forth heavy stuff okay not so damn stupid because right behind those uh, pipes there is this meter counter uh, indicator that actually is blowing close to 200 microteslas so what happens is this radiation goes on the metal it it divides itself and it goes through that area and it will make an impression on you as if there is actually uh, some form of uh, you know something inside in there too but of course it's not but because I am Ultra the statement the wrong self impeaching self incrementing statement can be very easily given um, regarding uh, severely severely mentally sick Vesna Schwab psychiatrist Vesna Schwab the only thing that I have to add to this is that I you know I feel sorry for her you know I think that she is very very mentally sick lady who needs big time help along with her husband it's really really how I feel because um, uh, clients that meet individual like this uh, that has in the closet um, the whole truck of bones uh, I don't know uh, to me this this is a serious threat to society basically is how I feel no uh, I don't think these things are remotely controlled, intensified remotely, but there is a big issue that I'm about to explain, and I'm going to have scientists just confirm this fact. Um, there is a ripple effect that's basically fields of radiations, radiations, radiation that cross from different direction because of the access points like this and a home a family members are well acquainted with them while nobody told me what areas to avoid you understand so they have created deliberately certain situations like areas where I, where I would most likely uh, stay were areas that uh, are real health has hazards uh, never mind 
external attacks, um, radiation attacks by this assassins right here uh, across the street. Never mind that. Even if you would disregard it, very unhealthy stuff. The only healthy stuff, if I remember correctly, according to MK Ultra, that was left like in a normal state, in a normal condition. Those are actually rooms from my mommy and from my daddy. So you can say that uh, by creating, you know, things like this, uh, somebody knowing very well uh, what to what to use, what not to use, another person not know anything about it. Uh, you cannot say that you're not mentally sick when you create this kind of uh, environment, hostile environment for an individual. Um, you know, going out there and give advice uh, to the people on radiation and stuff like this, or even act in a role of psychiatrist when you are actually severely mentally sick. Um, those are actually uh, serious concerns, I would say, for society, for any normal society, is how I see it. Yes. I understand obtaining uh, diplomas, formal education of these people, the purpose of that was to actually hurt damage people so misuse basically that knowledge time uh, trust from the people even it's about the trust you invite individual in the house to go and measure the stuff for you to to give you an advice you go to psychiatrist whoever needs one and never needed one for anything to obtain advice and so on and instead of that probably people get uh, something I would say exactly the opposite. This is very serious mistrust of everything that uh, society represents, basically. Um, regarding the Valt Juracic, just for me to finish, to give a little more information, it's very, very wrong here in this country. Things here are really, really completely upside down. Uh, the law doesn't really function here. He only spent a few years inside of the jail and the only thing he did was he got another doctoral degree, that was it, and they let him go out. He's free, he's riding around. I don't know, he's spending his time now in castles and stuff like that. Slovenia has got a very, very serious issues. We got a very serious problems here. Uh, the law, judiciary system. It's time to clean up here. It's time to place things back uh, I'm not gonna say back because we never really had the law here, but you know this should somewhat match the law in the West. You know, for the stuff like this, individual like this, it's a question if you even want to let him ever come out of the jail. I mean, look, there was a there was a lunatic the other day that started to choke somebody, a, a nurse over there in a psychiatric hospital, actually. He did this already once, and he did it again, and they gestured that he's going to have to stay inside for another five years. Uh, the individual whom he attacked, I understand, is a Mladen something, a Serbian again, and the individual that tried to choke this Serbian, or something like this, was a Slovenian guy, which pretty much tells me that uh, it's again a political situation we are dealing with because you have no idea how this place here is polarized um, and we have so many the Serbs inside of the psychiatry here in Slovenia uh, they, they totally control the field of psychiatry here uh, what I'm trying to say is you know I wouldn't give a hooten ass about somebody that is choking somebody because I cannot go and no matter how much I like that person and it doesn't matter who that person can be this this is very dangerous for me to go and bet on his name he can go and he can do that to someone else and people are gonna say oh hello but this guy advocated him and stuff like that you know you understand me what I'm saying <clears throat> but then again I'm saying to myself Valt Juricic did beyond psychotic shit he cut lady in pieces and he the only thing he got in the prison was a new diploma for free all paid by the Slovenian state came out and the only thing he did is he improved his life even more 
Um, you got the other individual who did that kind of stuff and he's walking around. Instead of being inside of the forensic department, he was with me inside of the room with obvious ideas. So, you know, when it comes to this field of psychiatry, uh, I don't give a hoot and shit about the psychiatrists because I think the psychiatrists in Slovenia are Chetniks. They are nothing else that controlled Serbian opposition right here in the field of psychiatry. Same as in a parliament, you see? So uh, it has got to be some, you know, as, as I'm thinking about and I'm matching these things, the situations and see these things from different corner. It doesn't matter if you have a doctoral diploma when you do this stuff like this. There's something very, very, very wrong with you. And the law has got to take certain steps. In the United States of America for such, um, Slovenian would say, precursion, uh, for such... Uh, a criminal act <laughs> you do stay in a jail for the rest of your life they would not let you go out if you do the stuff like this if you if you cut somebody in pieces you, you're not gonna come out anymore it's over for you you're done for the rest of your life you're gonna spend in jail and they make sure also that you're gonna be begging for the day uh, when death comes to save you you understand this is not the case here in Slovenia. Uh, in Slovenia, people are against death penalty. Uh, maybe that's actually a good thing because there's a lot of people that are completely innocent in Slovenia that are accused of the stuff they have nothing to do with. But on the other hand, you have people who actually admit they have done it and they just walk away from it. So the law in Slovenia is completely destabilized. The ju judiciary system in Slovenia is, does not fit in the European Union. This is not a civilized society. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, a psychiatrist or a doctor, uh, people that do shit like this, they should just never come out of the hospitals. I should say prison system, I believe. Look how many people this group. Look at me, what they have done to me. Totally innocent people get screwed, killed, murdered left and right. Why? Why this? It's it's so stupid that it goes basically in one ear, it goes inside, and the other one goes out. Uh, you you actually you don't you don't take this stuff seriously because it's so so blatantly stupid. It's so primitive that you don't know. You have no idea that this idiots are actually going to do this kind of stuff. And so, no wonder for the scenario that I was told, when it's not true really, I was told that during the winter time, they're going to be attacking me inside here with direct energy weapons, but then in the springtime and in the summertime, I'm going to start to walk big time. That's basically what, what, what's going to be, is they're going to prorate, they're going to attack me. They will be attacking me with the directed energy weapons as I'm going to be going through the settlement as uh, settlements and even they will be shooting this stuff from the corn and all kind of a stuff like this. Um, stuff that you are about to see actually totally demonstrates this kind of stalking. Yes, I was attacked with this kind of stuff. Uh, and I was attacked before I realized this shit actually... I just had this... I'm not going to say I had this big coincidence, but I started to pay attention to this stuff. And as I left this thing turned on, then I realized this, this, this people are actually really doing this shit to me. They, you're about to see. It, doesn't, it didn't matter where I would go, this shit would go after me, wherever I would go, and I would be like... You know, radiating, I don't know, up to 20 microteslas, zoom, 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 8 microteslas, chuk, 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 wherever you go, you go inside of the forest, this shit goes after you, and so on. Uh, yeah, I will explain who did this stuff, but it's important to note that this guy here, the neighbor here, and his son, they did attack here inside big time, more here inside than outside more uh even that I, I was attacked severely outside when i would go hiking uh sometimes i will explain to you i had like really 
pain here in the back and sometimes I was I was in a situation I thought that my head is going to explode and I didn't know I, I was like what is going on the more I walk the more I walk the more my head is ready to explode yeah the stuff that I'm about to demonstrate to you I have not seen yet on the internet but it's happening all the time and that's something actually that makes me also believe that the people that you see on the internet and they're talking about how they can hear voices and shit I'm not saying that that's not possible maybe that's possible who knows they have all kinds of technologies and stuff but what I'm trying to say is that uh, why is nobody talking about direct energy attacks when you know you're out in the nature anybody got this kind of idea I had not seen anybody talking about that kind of stuff that would go and measure uh, you know the frequency the radiation frequency and stuff like that why nobody have done that kind of stuff why people assume that cannot be done that stuff is being done actually at large big time it's being done and so I feel that people that a lot of people that talk about how uh, you know they hear voices and all kinds of stuff uh, maybe something many of them I think it's not something okay with them but there is something also it's possibility that you have a second category that that's actually is possible and then you have the third category that's just I think uh, government agents that just flush the internet with bullshit so that the real true would not be visible if you understand me what I'm saying I'm shocked that nobody ever came out and gestured that people are attacked with direct energy weapons uh, you know during daily exercise when they go for a walk and stuff like that again most of the time attack occurred here inside the house not outside they would want me to uh, remove attention if only possible toward outside because they insisted on that kind of theory spring summertime you're gonna go for a walk and this and that we're not gonna be even attacking you inside of the house you're gonna be riding on your new side how you're attacking inside of the house in reality it's gonna be outside of the house you're gonna be this and that and the neighbors the neighbor was very very motivated to confirm this kind of theory he wanted me to see this way so he demonstrated me that actually wanted me not only that he attacked me outside with his son but he wanted me actually to to see this to note this to make a note of it so it would not go under his bill if you understand me what I'm saying he is he created tremendous shit here this morning I was attacked between five and seven o'clock severely here it was very bad and I know who gets up at five o'clock I know who does the shit uh, I know what's going on I know what went on before what they were doing under MK Ultra. who's got a habit to go sleep early and do the shit like this early I know who is doing all that stuff I know who was involved in MK Ultra. I know everything about this dude here across the street so it's not like this it's not like this that that most of it would be outside and not inside no 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 no. the most of it was inside but in addition to that it also happened outside sad my neighbors are sad pathetic people more than anything obviously if I would start to claim that I'm attacked from outside and stuff like this that when you record the stuff like this that he would he would be like a release of the guilt it's not like this at all just watch the video this is going to be the third issue I will be discussing it feel like this it feel like the whole thing is going to explode I didn't know anymore what was going on okay and so uh, what their scenario was I'm just giving this to you you are not going to be assuming this kind of stuff but what we're going to be doing is you're going to be walking around and stuff like this and now we're going to be attacking you from outside of the house and not inside of the house meaning that i was writing down that 
uh, I am intact inside of the house in reality as I did go for hiking 10 11 kilometers every day I did the shit daily I would be actually attacked from outside of the house which I was but the, this is not true I was also attacked inside of the house and and I have the proof of that uh, it did happen today that I got yet another proof and I, that they understand that there is no effing around here anymore that we know ev everything about what's going on here uh, pretty much there's only one more thing to do and I'm not gonna even say that uh, I'm not gonna say about that kind of stuff but um, I got like a little surprise for these people but they know about anyways um, I am gonna start my own uh, it's not I'm gonna start my own it's, I didn't invent any of this stuff but if you take let's say if you take uh, pure alcohol or I assume also ethanol or whatever and you um, you wet and sponge with that thing you place that inside of the glass and you place that on a black uh, base cover uh, bottom then what you get is um, underneath you have to place something like dry ice or you would go and you would use like a, a compressed air so it basically cools from underneath Ah, quickly this is a very easy thing to do there are variations for some you can even do without the ice you can do without the dry ice uh, you can use compressed air it's called the cloud chamber different variations there are even some electronic you can do you can all do that stuff very cheap for less than five bucks they say even at home affordable and probably the most accurate way to detect radiation uh, and you would get actually directions of the particles of atomic particles in which way they're moving and that basically would suggest you where is it that your attack is coming from so I got this alcohol anyway now this is yet another one interesting one and also involves MK Ultra. this is really really kind of not from the perspective of I'm gonna say like I said that's why you know kind of what we're gonna learn today no to the hell with it we're not gonna learn anything I mean uh, I kind of upgraded my knowledge existing this is knowledge folks if I wanted the knowledge I would just go and I would grab the material or I would go online and that's what I would do I would specialize myself into this stuff I would read about I would know about I would know tons about if this would be of my interest you understand so we can talk about I don't know what kind of knowledge I've also made a mistake so I made a wrong assumptions because of the MK Ultra okay this the closest thing would be probably to a detective movie and if you are experiencing this kind of stuff this kind of directed energy attacks you might have been even subjected to MK Ultra or something like that yourself then this is probably a very good guidance this is a very good guide it gives you a very very good idea what basically to stay away from your in your statements and how to view the case what to push forward maybe this is what really this is useful besides my pretty much exposing this whole ordeal now uh, I was pretty damn busy I kind of hate doing this documentary it doesn't make me smarter uh, but it doesn't make me more stupid either today I did create this flyers here uh, it's good for me to just go ahead uh, and demonstrate this thing here in case there will be somebody out there that would suggest that you know like that I am doing some kind of a neo-nazi propaganda or something like that no this is not a neo-nazi propaganda this is exactly the opposite of the neo-nazi propaganda this is how can I say exactly what it is this is what's exposing the neo-nazi propaganda um, this is a very good stuff I did today and I did hand this stuff I did hand this stuff to the people I knew uh, I got to new people that got to know me excuse me on the MK Ultra pretty much whoever got the previous um, 
zip 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 except for the waiters and for the waitresses i cannot say that because there's a few young people but even some waiters were already uh back then i'm not gonna say they participate in mk ultra because this is stupid it will be like an accusation of the people that they did something bad and so on and so forth uh, what are you going to do as a, as a waiter or somebody bypasser or uh, somebody that lives in a vicinity that these idiots go next to your house or they go in your bar and something and uh, you find yourself in this kind of situation and then you have this genius actually that he's subjected to MK Ultra remembering you like I do let's say uh, genius is genius I'm going to say it in a sarcastic way okay I don't consider myself as a genius. Um, it would be wrong to just go and say, ah, you did, you did, you did, and so on and so forth. But really, whoever got those, whoever got so far this, <laughs> everyone, except the, what I have stated, um, I wouldn't give it to you. I went straight to the houses. I went straight to the bars. I went straight to the... To the people and so on and so forth if you got one of this uh it's because i came to you because you knew about it so it's not about the money you know it's not about you know uh, like you like i said you know i i did file this case with the international criminal court it will go to other courts i will press the lawsuits against these people against the governments it's not about the compensation based on this lawsuits I will be more than willing to pay the money to the person uh, it's like the least of an issue to me to pay to the person that takes the risk like this that would come forward with uh, you know with a proof like I stayed here what I need basically in Slovenian language and I did post a video already in English too uh, this will be a list of the problem to me that I would do something like this this will really really not be uh, this is really really what I am NOT about okay I see this more if you will come forward as more than anything as a form of help form of concern for another human being and form of concern for another human beings that's basically how is it i pursue this thing as okay the the reward is just a reward uh it's a nice thing if person gets something uh but really the main thing is here to help person uh it's a quite a touchy story of mine if you did read what i went over what these people did to me okay so uh, anybody whoever is willing to come forward for, uh, with this kind of stuff to help me out obtaining this physical proofs photos audio recordings and stuff in respect to this MK Ultra case I am deeply thankful grateful there isn't much else to say folks to so just go and see this kind of stuff stuff I have talked about but this is what I was busy. I'm pretty busy. I'm trying to go out and do this kind of stuff. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to the pharmaceutical company and I'm just gonna go and whoosh, like this to the people from the pharmaceutical company. About well, 5,000 of them. Then I'm gonna go to the Renault company here in the Novo Mist that's about the same size, I think. A few thousand people and I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna throw those leaflets, hand them to the people. Those are the people that I have no clue who they are, really. Okay, so far I did go all the way to a torch and back and also to the city center, that area. Now, and also here, it's called Slapnik area. Um, also very popular, it was a new actually not new but remodeled house uh, on behalf of the Serbs actually Serbs were the one they insisted to get this house remodeled changed into hotel right next to that hotel now is actually 
in 2005 I believe when they brought me here in 2005 if it was not in 2004 it's called company Euroton they have a car parts and basically what they did is they the, the, the same painting of the house that that is today and that uh, exactly the same color exactly the way they have done it I can tell you I was here it was done already sometimes in 2004 I remember this very well 2005 for sure I remember that stuff very well so there is stuff like this and hope people will help me out somebody's gonna come forward and give me a hand uh, 170 micro tests telephone hunting me around with <clears throat> this stupidity radiation this points here is what I'm gonna talk about this this stuff should already take my neighbor both of them him and his son to the jail I mean I have no idea what else is here to say let's go and see this video folks this is this should be quite interesting anyways okay folks uh, July 24 2018 I think it is if not mistaken 23rd 24 uh, there's so much shit going on that I don't even follow up with I have this is what I have just measured with a third telephone that I have I thought at least I have one single telephone I can actually use as a telephone or something and uh, guess what 165 micro Teslas max is not about exactly what you want to do uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this off uh, is it MG micro Teslas and we're gonna put this to zero and I'm gonna put this to the maximum so that's basically what's blowing so you can see how much what type of radiation this is so this is the third phone so you have seen what you have seen basically um, 160 micro Teslas a little earlier it blew all the way to 160 um, what I can do is uh, I bet if I call again it's gonna blow to 160 even that uh, I'm gonna say even that uh, 105 micro Teslas dude that's like a <laughs> leaking microwave seriously leaking microwave this is this is crazy this is this is like a bomb what do we have mg uh, mt let's do it again let's see what we're gonna get here oh we don't have the the max here the battery also is a little bit weak if I change that let's do this again properly I am now inside of this room uh, this is a washing room because I figured out that this place actually might be the only one without radiation and I'm gonna stay here uh, till they're gonna pro prove me wrong last night was uh, very very bad uh, they hit me very badly um, just just wow okay now let's go and let's try this thing again as you see the battery is a little bit low um, but let's give it a shot and let's see what's gonna happen I'm probably 
Nu je nič. Evrov, pet, centov. Za polnjenje računa pritisnite ena. Za I have just refilled, uh, how can I say, I just refilled telefon. So, I don't think there's anything else to add to that. That goes to a pretty much number that we have seen before. So, it's leaking right here. This is what it's blowing. Wow. 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 Um, this thing here, this thing will kill you. This thing will actually murder you. I am not kidding, folks. That's 163 micro Teslas. That's what they have turned to me, all three telephones, including this one here. So, I don't wish anybody shit like this. Uh, the only thing I can say, I have noticed that when I take the phone I'm filming with, this is like emergency telephone. I said to myself, the only time you're going to use this shit, because this telephone is the only one that telephone that camera works on. The only time you're going to use this telephone is when you're going to record something in emergency. Other than that, you're just going to have the shit disconnected all the time. And I stick to this one because I did measurements the other day. And I was sure. You see this shit? Look at that. Look where is the uh, meter and it's just boom. It just blows. And so... Uh, <laughs> I mean... Um, and so... Um, I, I, I was sure that under MK Ultra they suggested me they're going to leave me one telephone that is not going to be blown like this radiation. Uh, but uh, I see that that was lie as well. Uh, here is really the number 163.3 micro Teslas people. Uh, no gimmicks here. <laughs> nothing, nothing that I would lie. Nothing that I would lie to you. Nothing that I would hide something, something, anything. All this shit that you see here, this is from my mama. All this garbage thrown all over the place. Uh, this, this stuff that you see here, this is what I'm doing the wash. I'm doing a hand wash. I like to wash with my hands properly. I am a very clean person. Uh, I am going to tell you something. I'm so pissed off. Actually mad to be in this kind of circumstances. To be pushed so low by demented people. Literally by demented people to be treated like a shit. Believe me, if they would have done this to you, you wouldn't be happy either. Yeah, 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 it is, it is. What I'm going to do now is, you see what's going on here. Uh, what I'm going to do instead now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove uh, shit that you see here. All this shit was all junked all over, including this thing, this thing here. Uh, in uh, was all over this laundry room. This is how my mama keeps this place. This is how she has this place. The only thing mine is this here and this here. But basically this is how she keeps this place. Uh, the junk that you have seen was loaded all over this place here. And you know, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, I wouldn't say any of this. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a single word about any of this kind of stuff but she was the one suggesting me that I'm not clean and I'm very very clean person and very very ordinary person and it pissed me off because she suggested me that I make this place here that it was dirty what about all this other place and by the way when it comes to the dirty, this place here, the shower that was dirty, she used that kind of stuff, the rust remover, to um, spray this thing so when I would step in, I would actually, my skin would fall off my foot, stuff like that. I wouldn't say a single word about it, but it's not only because of this, it's because this area here is the least 
possible to expose one to radiation it's actually the real reason why she keep this place like a shit here I wouldn't say any of it but because of this because she's so evil that's why I'm gonna point these things out I wouldn't even go and show this maybe uh, but if you remember the scream from the smartphone her screen that broke she never ever replaced that screen because number one she didn't want to use that telephone that's number one she didn't want to use the telephone she complained about the telephone she said i want my old regular telephone back that's it i don't want that telephone that's number one number two because screen protector from my telephone was destroyed it was necessary to smack that screen so i could not use one so she didn't want a telephone so also she did is she broke that screen protection for that telephone that's number two number three when i borrowed the android which was already inside the drawer for like three months i think uh, I took the telephone as the fourth option because three of my androids were modified into radiation machines. I took her telephone because she doesn't need one. I took one at midnight. The next morning at 8 o'clock, she demanded her telephone right back, even although she's not using one. The point here is you want to tell me there are no micro cameras and this place is not surveillance uh, everything like this case is how things are done in this house everything here is administered by the micro cameras uh, people can hear what i record inside the house they are outside on a garden and they know what i'm talking about if i record from inside the house there's a lot of stuff i did not even release to the internet uh, but one day I will. Uh, but a funny thing is, such a funny things are happening. They can hear, the next day they would come and laugh about and give you like comments like in respect to the stuff that you have done just the day earlier. Uh, behind the closed doors and stuff like that. That's the kind of place we are. I wouldn't complain about any of it. I would not, but I have to do that. I'm also going to demonstrate you a video. Don't know how much you remember how my father insisted that there are lights. Lights are up at 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I cannot stand this. I cannot stand the lights are up. Uh, you are washing your clothing and stuff because I do the hand wash. I hand wash my stuff. I cannot stand it. You this, you that. Tomorrow I'm calling a mental hospital. It's actually a mental hospital that ordered him to call them and stuff like that. I'm going to demonstrate you how this maniac who also complained about how I close the doors because uh, the, the doors are uh, maybe 30 years old the doors like this are all bent like that and when you close them it causes like sound it's like because i don't know the door is bent like this you can see it and yeah i don't have the money but this individual can buy himself a brand new car a good car a very very good car every year but he would not have, I don't know, $50 to change the door because he just wants to harass, molest like that. I'm also going to play you a video now. He's got a TV inside of his room. How he is blasting like a TV like at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You can, the whole house can hear his TV from his room. And his TV in his room blasting does not disturb this individual who claimed that i am disturbing him that he's gonna call the mental hospital on me and so on and so forth but my presence disturbs him so much so that's why you see this is why i'm doing this kind of stuff um, that's why 